Warren Buffett is one of the greatest investors of all time. He achieved a historical 20% yearly return, which turned him into one of the richest men in the world. In Berkshire Hathaway's annual letter, he shares with us his strategy to pick stocks. In this video, we will go over the top 5 lessons we can learn from Warren Buffett. The first lesson is to buy stock as an owner, not as a speculator. For Warren Buffett, owning a stock is an ownership interest in an actual business. Warren Buffett once said, Whenever Charlie and I buy common stocks for Berkshire's insurance companies, we approach the transaction as if we were buying into a private business. We look at the economic prospects of the business, the people in charge of running it, and the price we must pay. We do not have in mind any time or price for sale. Speculators are not focused on what an asset will produce, but rather on what the next fellow will pay for it. That is not the game Warren Buffett plays. Warren Buffett focuses on the business of the company and whether it can generate value for its shareholders. He analyzes the company's numbers and its competitive advantages. You should not spend time with top-down factors like monetary policy, consumer confidence, durable goods orders, and market sentiment in doing a business valuation or investing. If you focus on the value of the business, you don't need to predict short-term changes in the economy because that takes care of itself. You should buy a stock with the mindset that you are one of the owners of the company. You will analyze the financial statements and the strategy of the company. That will help you to hold your investment during a recession as you will know what's happening in the company and what are the prospects for the future. The second lesson is to invest for the long run. Warren Buffett says that if you aren't thinking about owning a stock for 10 years, don't even think about owning it for 10 minutes. You should only invest in companies that you are willing to hold for at least 10 years. You should analyze if the company has a durable competitive advantage and can grow its profits in the long run. Warren Buffett wrote in the 1987 annual Berkshire Hathaway letter, Charlie and I let our marketable equities tell us by their operating results, not by their daily or even yearly price quotations, whether our investments are successful. The market may ignore business success for a while, but eventually will confirm it. As Benjamin Graham said, in the short run, a market is a voting machine, but in the long run, it is a weighing machine. The stock price in the short term is not that important as long as the company's intrinsic value is increasing at a satisfactory rate. In fact, it can be an advantage. It may give us the chance to buy more of a good thing at a bargain price. If the numbers of the company are good and you know that the company has the potential to be a great investment over time, the short-term volatility is irrelevant. Warren Buffett said that the stock market is a device that transfers money from the impatient to the patient. Many people sell their stocks when they fall in the short term, but they should do the opposite. As Buffett said, be fearful when others are greedy, and be greedy when others are fearful. The third lesson is to invest in a business with moats. The analogy Buffett uses is that the business itself should be viewed as the equivalent of a castle, and the value of that castle will be determined by the strength of the protective moat. To be successful, a company must have a definite moat a competitive advantage that allows it to maintain pricing power and better-than-average profit margins. Buffett explained his moat principle at the 1995 Berkshire Hathaway annual meeting of shareholders. What we're trying to do, he said, answering a question from the audience, is we're trying to find a business with a wide and long-lasting moat around it, surround protecting a terrific economic castle with an honest lord in charge of the castle. When analyzing a company, you should find out how strong the moat is and whether or not the company will still be standing one or two decades down the line. Some examples of moats are brand, scale, and patents. The moat of a business will protect the company from its competitors. It will help the company survive in the long run. So, when analyzing a business, you should always look for companies with durable competitive advantages. The fourth lesson is don't invest in businesses that are too complex to fully understand. For Warren Buffett, you should invest only in business that you fully understand. You don't need to forecast the success of a biotechnology company's drug pipeline, predict the next major fashion trend in teen apparel, or identify the next technological breakthrough that will drive growth in semiconductor chips. If you don't know these businesses, you probably will choose the wrong company to invest in. Also, when the sector is not performing well, you will probably sell because you don't know what is happening. There are several companies from several sectors that you can understand. Pool Corporation, for example, which is a distributor of swimming pool supplies, had a 10 times return in the last 10 years. 
It was a fantastic investment and a simple and easy business to understand. Understanding a company will help you to keep your investment during a recession period, as you will know the company's potential for the long run. The fifth lesson is to look for companies that reinvest their earnings into growth. When a company makes a profit, there are several ways to use it. The company can pay dividends to the shareholders, pay debts, reinvest in its business, and repurchase shares. Warren Buffett likes companies that can use their profits to reinvest in their business with a high return. Although you are not receiving the earnings from the company now, those investments can generate even more money in the long run, as it has the potential to increase the company's profit. In the 2012 Berkshire Hathaway annual letter, Buffett said, A profitable company can allocate its earnings in various ways. A company's management should first examine reinvestment possibilities offered by its current business. Projects to become more efficient, expand territorially, extend and improve product lines, or otherwise widen the economic moat separating the company from its competitors. If a company can reinvest its profits with a high return, it will generate a lot of value for the shareholders in the long run. So, always look for companies that can reinvest their profits. In the book Warren Buffett and the Interpretation of Financial Statements, we can check how Warren Buffett reads a financial statement and what he is looking for in a company. You can check the top five lessons from this book by clicking the card on the screen. If you want to receive more videos about investing, please consider subscribing and hit the like button. Bye.